That arrogance would be seen as comical under these circumstances. Uppercut lands from Idana. Are you Miranda? Halo sahabat Sport TV, selamat datang di channel olahraga yang mengulas dan menyajikan secara informatif dan inspiratif. One shall stand, one shall fall. Okay, let's get it out. It's already been a tumultuous night in the ring here in Las Vegas. We saw Pada sesi ini Sport TV akan menyajikan salah satu pertandingan terbaik dalam pentas tinju dunia. Eric El Tribal Morales versus Marcos El Chino Maidana adalah pertarungan untuk kejuaraan kelas well teringan WBA Interim yang digelar pada tanggal 9 April tahun 2011 di Las Vegas, Amerika Serikat. Pertandingan ini berjalan sangat ketat, keras dan saling berjual beli pukulan keras dan sangat brutal. Eric Morales, semua pasti mengenal sosok petinju ini. Petinju dengan julukan El Terrible atau Yang Mengerikan adalah salah satu petinju terbaik dari Meksiko. Dia adalah petinju Meksiko pertama kali yang menjadi juara dunia di empat kelas yang berbeda. Morales adalah petinju dengan gaya fighter yang siap untuk berjual beli pukulan dalam setiap pertarungannya. Kali ini dia akan berhadapan dengan petinju serba bisa dan menakutkan yaitu Marcos El Chino Maidana asal Argentina. Petinju dengan julukan El Chino atau orang Cina ini memiliki gaya slugger yaitu yang selalu terus menekan lawan-lawannya dan dikenal sangat garang dan sangat menakutkan dengan pukulan kerasnya di mana 95% lawan-lawannya tumbang dengan KO. Super lightweight contender in the world, Marcos El Chino Maradona. He has six world title belts in his career. Eric El Terrible Morales. Cuídate, listos, vámonos. Ronde pertama, sejak menit awal Marcos Maidana langsung menekan dan menyerang Morales dengan brutal dan keras dengan pukulan ke segala arah, baik dari wajah maupun ke tubuh Morales yang mengakibatkan luka bengkak pada mata kiri Morales. Ronde kedua dan ketiga pertarungan terjadi berat sebelah di mana El Tribal Morales menjadi sansak hidup bagi Maidana. With subtle movement on the inside, cracked. That the guy who's been most hurt in this fight was Maidana by that right hand, and I thought that was enough. We closed up. I'm talking about Eric Morales. At the hard shots to win rounds one and two. Eric Morales is a long association with the new trainer Rudy Perez because threw it and came back. Now he has to walk through another one as Morales lands a good right. But there's a vicious uppercut and a vicious left hook, and Morales has to fight. Pada ronde keempat ini, Morales mulai memberikan perlawanan dan mendaratkan beberapa pukulannya dan masuk telak ke wajah Maidana. Ronde kelima dan selanjutnya, pertarungan mulai nampak berimbang 
namun Maidana lebih banyak menekan dan menghajar Morales. Ronde ke-8, sebuah pukulan hook keras Morales sempat menggoyahkan Maidana. Namun Maidana makin beringas dan tetap mengejar dan menghajar Morales. Moment with the upper hand in a fight of the year candidate against Marcos Maidana. Received in trouble. Very collected by Maidana. Oh, the uppercut on the inside. See, and the hook. And a big left hand by Morales. As fast as Maidana recuperates, I believe Jim, he is recuperating. In other words, he winds up badly hurt. Very few fighters can shake off the wobble stop, stop, stop. the way Maidana. Some I think he's breathing through his nose, and he really looks winded. With Rudy Perez, without Rudy Perez, I think he's in bad shape. However, he has just seized command and strafed Morales with a series of about 12 power punches. And right now, Maidana believes that he's trying to finish the fight. Because Maidana versus Eric Morales was going to become a serious candidate for fight of the year. If any at all from that right eye, and he's fighting this fight. All of a sudden, Maidana has found a second oh, win. Oh. Look at him take Morales' hard shots. Eric Morales. Unbelievable. The uppercuts, Jim, are the punches, I think, that have had the best of power of a fighter's personality. The confidence, the arrogance. Out of 26, he only threw 26 punches. Either way. <laughs> to think that he could do it with his right eye is beyond unfathomable. It also points out that you're at Canastota. Oh. Well, we can't talk about it now because he's not at Canastota yet. He was stumped. Utterly stumped. Finally, after a while, he said, Maybe Pacquiao. Pacquiao is a superhuman. There are talks. There could be a fourth fight between Morales and Barrera. At this moment, it's hard to imagine that Barrera could be competitive against the Morales we're looking at right now. Barrera's trainer, Rudy Perez, oh. is training Maidana tonight. Maidana just landed two Titanic. giant shots. One eye, the other one completely shut. Sitting duck for that big left hook for Maidana. He cannot see it coming. That was a huge shot out by not folding. Images of this year in boxing, Jim. Maybe a little hurt and certainly incapacitated by the eye. Maidana. Trying to marshal his resources oh. one last time. He's got Maidana back on the defensive. Now here for that, a knockout. 
this round now this fight crosses over from being special to being something else i think here he comes from morales is faint how does eric morales stand as he comes to the 12th round okay jim jim i thought he won four rounds in a row seven Ooh. eight nine ten and then to the 11th round and comes the argentine every time madonna launches he's swinging his arms wide Big body shot from Maidana. Oh. Everyone wrong who criticized the matchup. Unbelievable oh. shot by Madonna, and Morales hangs in. There's another giant shot by Madonna. And the right hand, and another right hand. Last ditch effort to knock Morales out, and the old warrior stands up. For the winner by majority decision from Argentina, Marcos El Chino Maidana. Dan akhir pertarungan dimenangkan dengan majority decision oleh Marcos El Chino Maidana. Marcos Maidana masih terlalu tangguh bagi Eric Morales yang harus menerima banyak pukulan bertubi-tubi dari Maidana. Namun mental juara dan keberanian dari Morales mampu membuatnya bertahan dan memberikan perlawanan balik yang cukup berat walaupun banyak luka yang harus diterimanya. Terima kasih sudah menyaksikan dan nantikan pertarungan-pertarungan tinju terbaik lainnya tetap di Spot TV Channel. Salam Spot TV, stay tune and be happy.